Greetings, it's Vagram. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Grimco Construction. I'm in the guard shack and Shadows is outside. What's going on, Shad? Hello, hello. I'm trying to get in, but the barriers are, uh, the barriers are up. Oh, ho, ho. sweet. We've been busy. Mm. Now, we have, first of all, to address the fact that we are missing one of our cohorts. Uh, Preacher had to go, but that's because our recording time got abbreviated. We ran into a technical problem. We were using gaseous illuminae from Thomic Tinkerer to actually light up the area for the base. And we discovered that that has a really horrible effect on his frame rate. So we had to go remove it all. Mm -hmm. And I still need to remove a whole bunch of it from the floor <laughs> downstairs, but that's fine. We can do that later. Um, so yes, we've actually got the base itself, the uh, headquarters fencing up. We've got the guard shack and the front gates. We've got the nifty little sign for the folks that drive up. We do have our driveway uh, oriented to American <laughs> instead of European, but that's fine. Um, we've got a demarcation and a basic frame for the main building itself. This is going to be the bit that sticks up above ground. And uh, we have a huge space downstairs, don't we, Shad? Oh, yeah. A veritable cavern. Yes, it was actually walled in by Preacher. Um, he did a wonderful job lining this with uh, marble. He's got some painted glowstone blocks. They're painted to look like the marble that are hidden at various points in the walls. And we've been filling in some of the rest of it just to kind of, you know, get rid of the dark spots. Groovy, groovy. It's a long so, way down. So... It is a long way down, but we're going to have a lot of floors for stupid little things like power rooms and, um, you know, engineering and all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm curious if I can find any more of this stuff. Uh, the, oh, I found some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got little bits of it here and there. Basically, we thought it was neat. We put down a whole bunch of it and ended up tanking Preacher's frame rate in the process. <laughs> Poor Preach. So, let's head upstairs here real quick. Or real slowly. We learned a lot from the last session, didn't we, Shadow? We certainly did. <laughs> so, like, uh, one thing that a lot of people told me is the more power you feed to a filler, the faster it goes. So technically, we, we could have emptied everything out downstairs with a filter, filler a lot quicker than a quarry. So that was lesson number one that somebody told me. Lesson number two, we're not thinking creatively enough. We could have actually used the blood magic tools and not had to worry about the actual blood network because we're in creative mode. Yeah, that was a good point, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I, I totally forgot. Didn't think about it. It occurred to me way later after I was editing the video. I was like, you know what? And it kind of struck me then. So there are still things that we're learning about adjusting to modded creative building, but that's fine. So we also have a little bit of an announcement to, to how we're going to be releasing future episodes of the show from now on. Uh, do you want to explain that idea, Shad, or do you want me to? I'll let you explain it. You'll probably explain it a lot better than I can. <laughs> We're basically going to be rotating episodes from now on across channels. So the next episode, this one you're watching right now, is going to be on Shadow's channel. Then I'll release one on my channel probably over the weekend. Next week, we'll have one from Preacher. We're going to see if we can get another one in from uh, um, Shadow, but Shadow's going to be busy next week. And basically, it's going to be an episode per for each of us, and then it'll go back through and rotate again. So this way, um, everybody kind of gets to share the series, and it kind of distributes, so to speak, the views amongst everybody, helps everybody out. I think it's going to be a good thing. Definitely. So this episode is going to be airing on your channel. We're going to have to make sure and let everybody know to tune into your channel to mm -hmm. catch this next episode. Twitter. What do you... What do you think we should work on today? Do you want to actually start mocking up the building? Yeah, or I think we should what? do the outline of the building. Maybe get some floors in. So uh, this is concrete, right? It certainly is. Concrete blocks. I don't think we actually need that anymore. 
No, we're all lined up. Okay, so real quick. Doorway. <laughs> I have my handy dandy carpet. Ah, the marking carpet. You could use the white lines I'd... that we use for the parking. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, somebody pointed out that we can use these road lines for chisel. They're it awesome. doesn't have to be on concrete. We can use it on anything. Yeah, it looks great. So, so that was a good tip. Um, okay, I got to think. Pull out my tape measure. And remember. Twenty-eight. Which means half is going to be fourteen. So that should be centered in theory. Looks about right to me. Double doors going in. Mm -hmm. We could probably do something a bit different on the outside rather than just concrete, but for the time being. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Right now, though, we just want to get an, an outline going. Okay, so basic frame, right? Yeah. I think there should be. Now I gotta look at this. We can kill those. Okay. I do want a kind of a lobby on the first floor. I want it to be pretty big and spacious. Actually, that's not going to be even. Basically, I want to have um I don't know, do we want to do split staircase? Um Are you going to go with staircase or elevators? I do think we're going to have to have elevators. Did you don't know how we're going to do them? They're going to be just open shafts. Hmm. We can do elevator blocks, I guess that's one point. Um okay, so if we did elevators, That means one would be there, one would be there. Wait a minute. My measurements are off. Oh, they are. Huh. Always bring two colors of carpet. Okay. <laughs> so elevators, right? Just yep. we can do uh, a little two by two grid of the open blocks elevator things and just yep. pop up and down on them. Mm -hmm. I want to have doorways. Aren't there sliding doors in? Do we have malices? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just. Take... We do not. Ah, uh, that's. No good, no good. Uh, okay, well, that was that plan out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to try and keep it relatively symmetrical for the lobby? The, the ground floor, I do want to be kind of symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Other floors will not be. But... You know, we can burn that bridge when we get to it. OK. 
Okay. Let's just do that. Yeah, yeah. And then... Basically that. Yeah, yeah, cool. So... Only other thing we could do if we had it was pneumatic craft, but it's not in this pack. No. It has legit elevator blocks. Well, I think that's good enough. We can. I mean, we could kind of stick manual doors on the front of them, maybe. Right, or, or something. Just, you know, just for the look of it more than anything. I mean, people aren't necessarily going to. Oh, you know what? Actually, hang on a sec. Whoa, wrong block. There's a method to my madness. To be able to put the doors. That way we can have glass doors. Mm hmm. Hmm. We can't put pressure plates on the same square. We'll figure it out. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we have nice symmetrical design. What we can do. Let me think. How do I want to do this? Are we going to use like Decker Craft for like the receptionist desk or something? Or for Reception. Office, office desks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do think it would be good for that. We also have um, Bibliocraft that we can use for ah, some desks yeah, yeah. and customization. So we can do this right here as the kind of the nice reception desk. Mm -hmm. And then you come around the side and kind of behind it to get into the elevator system. Um, we can do... Let me think. I think for right now, we're going to have to figure out decor and figure out how we want to actually build out the rest of it later. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I do think. That looks. Same ish. Yeah, yeah. spot on. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have this that's probably going to be hollowed out, and I want to turn it into a maintenance shaft. Yeah. I actually want to have doors to this, but uh, this is going to be conduits, cables, wires, and everything else running, th running up through the building that we normally would have yeah. if we were building this for survival. Cool. So we build like, shafts up around the elevators and pop wires through and cabling as well. Although yeah, we're obviously we can use... not going to have the, the actual car itself, are you? So you can't really... Um... Well, this isn't for the sake of the elevators per se. Mm. I do think it would be cool, you know, if you look at office buildings and you have that little square thing on top of the buildings above where the elevators are. Right, yeah, yeah. Where the pulleys and all the mechanicals. Yeah, the whole... Yeah. The mechanics that I don't understand, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, all the engineering of it. It's basically up at the top on the roof. I think it would be cool to have that and some of those air conditioner units up on the top roof. I think it'd be neat. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but like, I want to do uh, like redstone cabling. We could do a lot of combined mm. Ender IO cabling. We could do what is it? Uh, oh gosh, bundled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. That stuff. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of the old data centers it used to have to work in. Yeah. <laughs> um, we even have... Ooh, nice. Framed. Uh, that cross connects, but you get the point. Yeah, yeah. Um...
So we could do a vertical stack like this. And then if we wanted to in the opposite corners, we could do vertical stacks of um, like an Ender IO cable bundle right here. Yep. Power, water, redstone, mm. and I don't know, maybe item conduits. Uh, um, yeah. I think there's all sorts of stuff um, that we could do. Hmm. Yeah, that's some. Um, I, I like the look of that. I'm not sure if I prefer it like that or without the frame. I do think it looks rather good look, running up the wall. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's yeah. something to be said for that. Uh, hmm. We have a lot of things at our fingertips. I'm going to make it day real quick. Nice. So next thing we need to actually make a decision on is what do you think i think there should be a difference between the internal walls and the outer external the outernal walls wow <laughs> way to go vagram <laughs> Woo! um the internal and external walls uh yeah I, yeah 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 because you don't want concrete on the inside because it looks rubbish well i mean even if it does look rubbish it's still the pointer of i think it makes the building look real dull if you have the same yeah. stuff all the way through mm -hmm. i think the out the external wall should also always be a different material. Plus, that way, when you're in the building, even if there's no windows, you can kind of tell, oh, these two are concrete. That's an external wall. Yeah, yeah. So, hmm. uh, you think wood, chisel textures? What are you thinking? Yeah, I, th I think... Uh, let me... Hmm. I'm trying to kind of gauge it by whether you'd be able to use a, a block that's got a similar sort of texture to... You, you know, like painted plaster. You know that kind right. of. You know, you get the um, not necessarily the the low dividing walls that you get on open plan offices, but you you still get that sort of paneling that sort of uh, that sort of like tends to hook together. Um, and it's kind of like a chalky sort of color, isn't it? Really, magnolia. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's going to be a particularly fancy building, in which case you could use maybe oak panelling. Hmm. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Let me just have a look, see what... That is... Five... No, four cables bundled into one square space. That's one of the reasons why I love Ender.io. Have we got Batania in this? We do. Which means we can actually put plants in the lobby that give a beneficial effect. Yeah. You see, I'm a huge fan of living wood. The text. Oh, hey. So. Living wood. Hmm. Not a big fan of that one. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Yeah. What do you think? Too busy? Yeah, I, I'm kind of trying to find something that looks old. Um, oak paneling kind of. Oh, it's the same one. I think I might have to give up on the living wood because the, the normal texture looks too boring for it to be an internal wall. It might be nice for the reception desk. Are you thinking darker, richer? Yeah, more expensive. <laughs> so maybe because... You know what we should do? Lighter floors. If we have darker walls, we need lighter well, floors. Well, th that was the plan I had for the floor. I'll show you what... Oh, God, that looks horrible. Uh, Birch parquet might look nice. Yeah. Um, the other thing I was thinking of, depending on what sort of a building it's going to be and what sort of foyer you want, is... Uh, let's have a look, see how this... Look. 
rocks on the floor. It's not very dark for dark oak, is it? Not really. See, I was thinking of this for the floor. It's like a marble. It's a living, hmm. living rock. Too much? It is patterny. I'm just worried that people are going to think it's dirty. <laughs> uh, um, hang on a yeah, sec. That's a valid point. Uh... What do you think? Yeah. That's normal. This is just normal living rock brick. Yeah, yeah. This is framed. You think that's going to be I'd... too busy for a floor? Yeah. I'd... I don't know. I, I, it's, it's kind of difficult, really. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Let's try this bad boy. Ooh. Kind of you know what is key sort of look. Yeah, it's busy, but it, it's not over the top colors busy. Mm. It's just slight shades of light and medium gray. I do like it. It's really nice. It's a definite possibility. The other option is, let me just move some stuff out of my inventory. There we go. Right. There's that one. I'm just looking at the ones that I've tried before that I know I have enjoyed. Right. So there's that one. That one's good. It's yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, that one, which you could use around the edges, because the textures. Oh, that's a trim. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. So we use this right up this right up against the wall, right? Yep. And the other option, which looks a bit boring, is that one. I like these two right here. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. Okay. I tell you what. Of course, that's the flooring. We still have no clue what we want to do for walls. <laughs> it's a I tell you what. We are on a wrap-up point here real quick. We are, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and call it a stop here. We'll do some more brainstorming off-camera yeah. and see if we can come up with some progress for next episode. Indeed. Cool. Thank you very much for joining me, Shads. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.